Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are doing another Rubik's Cube video. So, oh my goodness. Wait, yeah, 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 that's actually, that's good. Okay, so last time I did a video on beginner method. This time I'm going to be doing a video on the method called CFOP. It's cross, um, F2L, OLL. And PLL. I'm gonna be doing this in like a series. So everyone knows how to do the cross. It's the same as beginner method. So we just you would know this from the last video. So first of all, I'm gonna do cross. I don't have to go over cross this video. I'm going over F2L in this video. So now that we have the cross matching with the centers. What we want to do is find a white corner, like this one, white, orange, and green. And instead of inserting it like this, we're not, and then doing second layer, F2L stands for first two layers. So if you have this problem to where, so what you want to do is you want to make it to where these two are paired up. But if it's paired up like this, what you want to do is you want to move this down, move this to the left, move this up. Now... We can put now put it in between the orange and the green. And now if I just do this, this, and then this, what? And let me do it. So we hold it in between this and then have it on the left if it's right here. So I do L prime. I'll explain to it like what the things are. Okay, so L prime, U prime, and then L. And now the white corner's in and this edge is already done. So next we can do, let's say, the blue, white, orange. But the problem is there is no blue, orange edge out. So what we want to do is we want to find the blue, white edge, or blue and orange edge, which is right here. So we're going to move up, move this to the left, and then move this down. And now it's out. And here's our corner. They're paired up, but with the wrong orientation. So as earlier... This down, this to the left, this up. And if we do that again. Uh oh, I did something wrong. Okay, sorry. If we do that again, it goes in and it. Sorry. It was actually like this. So when it's like this, what you want to do is you want to pick it up, put it to the right, and then put it down. So as you can see, wrong orientation, but paired up. So we do the same thing. We move it down, move this to the left, and then move this back up. See, now if there's white on the top, and since there's white down here, what we want to do is you want to take the edge, right? Move, match these colors, and see on the top is orange. We actually want to move this this way, away from the orange, and then move the corner right here to where it matches, and then turn this back, move this right here. And if it's like this, we do it like that. But if it's like here and then here, you do that. So now... These ones are in, and these ones are in. So now we're on the next one. Blue, white, and red. And here's the red and blue. So in between red and blue, do that. All right. And since they're in there, but they're wrong, then we want to take them out. And see how they're wrong orientation, so we just do that. And white's on the top, so, I, on, 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 so we match these. And since blue is on the top, we want to move it away from the blue, move the corner here, move it back up, and see, now it's paired. So then we just do that again. So these ones are already paired, except this white is on the top. So what I'm going to do is, so actually, when it's like this, normally, you don't want to do this. If it's paired up like this, and you turn it up like this, it could mess it up. So what you want to do is you want to make it to where on the back, when you turn it up, there's nothing. There's no white. And then you can do this and then this. There's white on the top, so what we'll do is we do this. And if there's white right here, then obviously what we're going to do is we're going to turn it away from the green, move this over, move it back up, and there. And since it's paired on the other side, we turn this up, this there, and then this there. And... That is F2L. Okay, so now I'm going to go over another case that you might get. Let me just scramble my cube up. Let 
Ooh, and tomorrow I get a 4x4, four four, so I can make a tutorial on that as well. Okay. So, I'm just going to get back to, like, around where I was. Except I'm going to show you a different case that might happen to you. And I'm going to go over how you can fix it. Let's see if I can find that case somewhere here. There! That's it. So when you have, like, let's say you have the white, red, blue, and the red and blue, right? But the problem is, is that these two colors are the same on the top. So then what you do is you're going to find in between the blue and the orange, so like that. Put the corner right, no, put the corner right there. No, actually, you want to put it here. So, no, you want to have it here, and you want to do... No, you want to have it here, and do this. Then you want to move your, um... Okay, wait, what? Where'd my edge go? Oh, it's right there. Okay, so then we want to turn this down. So, if we have it like this, right? We want to move this here. Move this down. And move this right here. So then when we move this back up, now they're paired. And then you can just insert them like that. And that's it. So that is how we can do F2L. And let me just get back to my to an F2L state, which is pretty quick for me to do. Let me just get back to an F2L to what it should look like afterwards. Oh my goodness. Ah! Okay, this again. Okay, this is weird. I'm just going to fix it in a different way. Sorry. <laughs> it's taking me a few minutes. I said it would be quick. Okay, so when you're done you should with F2L, you should have the whole white side done, these two layers done, these two layers done, these two layers done, and these two layers done. Then we go on to um we go on to OLL, which is orientation of the last layer. So thank you for watching and like, subscribe, comment down below if you Hit that notification bell so you never miss another video. And I will see you guys next time. Uh, bye. Bye.